<laughs> Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Friday morning and thanks for joining us. So good to be in your company at the start of a brand new day. Now, after the major success of Lambda's previous productions, Silver Screen and The Table, the Leiting Alexander Musical Theatre Academy is proud to present their first musical theatre production called Encore. It's a celebration of some of the hit musicals that have enthralled South African audiences in the last 18 years. And joining us on the couch this morning, we've got Nolu Tando, Amy and Bethany from Lambda. Yes, ladies. Looking lovely. Thank you very much for joining us so early in the morning. I heard the warm-up as I was walking in. <laughs> Shame oh, for you. We, we, no, <laughs> I, I loved it. I think we're in for a treat. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic to hear you perform. So let's talk about this. This is a major stepping stone and a major platform in the uh, musical theatre production realm in that you've produced uh, this, call, this production called uh, Encore. Tell us all about it, Marie Sandu. So Encore is our end-of-the-year musical, Lampter's end-of-the-year musical, where we basically celebrate all the musicals that um, Peter Jureen Productions have put on from mm -hmm. 2001. Um, we, so what we do is that we perform a number from each musical yes, uh, um, for the audiences to see, and it's really a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And Bethany, you've worked on quite a few productions um, over the year with the Lambda directors. Um, what was it like putting this particular show together? Was it a bit of a highlight reel of all the best bits? Yes, I mean, oh, it's very special, I think. Uh, to obviously, to work with, with Anton and Dwayne is incredibly special. They, they're good friends, and I, it's so incredible to see what they're doing with Lambda and these wonderful students. But I think to also pay tribute to Mr. Peter Turin, who mm. has you know, really provided South African audiences with, with so many musical memories yeah. all over the years. I mean, so everyone can come and relive those in, in, this, in this setting at this gorgeous theatre, Theatre on the Bay. Yeah, so yeah. it's really special and, um, and with these wonderful students. And it's not just your typical student production. This is, it's something really special and not just because there's a few professional you know, artists. These are these are young artists who are doing such an incredible job. So yeah. it's wonderful for South African audience. And young, very talented artists, Amy. Absolutely. All of them trained <laughs> triple threats, right? Yeah. And that's the thing. When when you go around the musical theatre streets and somebody coins you and says you're a triple threat, that is a major thing. Mm -hmm. Why is that's that so important? Huge. Yeah, I think you can't have musical when you think musical theatre, you think triple threat, and it's so important, um, especially these days. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, it's when somebody's so skilled in acting and singing and dancing and able to do all three at once, which is quite a cool thing. Yeah. Um, and I think normally one is maybe a bit more, like, strong than the others. But what's so cool about Lambda is that we truly get trained in all three disciplines. It's not like one is more than the other. Yes, so we can be, like, true triple threats. Wow. Which is really amazing Broadway, to be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about a day in the life of a Lambda student. What, what does that look like? So basically we start classes at 8.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. And um, so different days are obviously, you know, scheduled to either be more of like a dance day or an acting day. Yeah. Um, but our curriculum is basically more or less 70% dance so okay. that we train in like tap, ballet, jazz, you know, different um, forms of dance. Also to work on that physical fitness because uh, it's exactly. quite demanding when you're doing exactly. these big numbers. Yes, yeah. yes. And to balance it out more like Pilates, you know, everything. We really get a lot. And then... Then we have singing, so individual, like private singing, you know, tutorial and repertoire building classes, wow. um, acting, acting theory, um, show studies. We get different guests every week from yes. all over the world. It's really, it's really amazing. It sounds so exciting. Really every is. day is an adventure. Incredible. All right, and so with this particular production, what, what do you think audiences have to look forward to, Bethany, if you were to give us one last big hoorah so. <laughs> A big hoorah. I think, you know, like I said, just to be able to relive those memories that you've, you know, musicals that you've watched and loved and enjoyed so much all over the, you know, over the years. What are some of your favourites individually? Ooh. Oh, well, it's a toughie. I love, I mean, Cats for me is <laughs> it's one of my favourite shows. <laughs> memories. So, yeah, memory and, and to be able to perform that is, is such a joy and honour. And there's so many numbers that the students will be doing that I think will 
blow people away. It's Hello, quite remarkable. What about you? Mm, Beauty and the Beast. That's yes. one of my favourites. I absolutely love it. Okay. Yes. Amy. I also love Cats because it's where my love for theatre began. So it's very nostalgic for me. And I love um, the number from Jesus Christ Superstar as well. It's lots yeah. of fun. Well, there you've had you heard a little bit of a snippet of what you can expect. <laughs> Cats, Jesus Christ Superstar, Beauty and the Beast, and so many more that have entertained South African audiences over the past 18 years. The show is on from the 27th of November until the 7th of December uh, at the Theatre on the Bay. It's called Encore and tickets are available. Ladies, thank you for joining us. Thanks. Really thank looking forward so to having you perform this morning. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.